The Usher of Lee House School Mr Lumsden, the senior partner of Lumsden and Westmacott, the well-known scholastic and clerical agents, was a small, dapper man with a sharp, abrupt manner, a critical eye, and an incisive way of speaking. "'Your name, sir,' said he, sitting pen in hand with his long, red-lined folio in front of him. "'Harold Weld. Oxford or Cambridge?' "'Cambridge. Honours? No, sir. Athlete? Nothing remarkable, I'm afraid. Not a blue?' "'Oh, no.' Mr. Lumsden shook his head despondently and shrugged his shoulders in a way which sent my hopes down to zero. "'There is a very keen competition for masterships, Mr. Weld,' said he. "'The vacancies are few and the applicants innumerable. "'A first-class athlete, or or cricketer, or a man who has passed very high in his examinations "'and usually find a vacancy. "'I might say always in the case of the cricketer. "'But the average man, if you will excuse the description, Mr. Weld, "'has a very great difficulty, almost an insurmountable difficulty. "'We have already more than a hundred such names upon our lists.' And if you think it worth while our adding yours, I dare say that in the course of some years we may possibly be able to find you some opening which... He paused on a kind of a knock at the door. It was a clerk with a note. Mr. Lumsden broke the seal and read it. Why, Mr. Weldon, said he, this is really rather an interesting coincidence. I understand you to say that Latin and English are your subjects and that you would prefer for a time to accept a place in an elementary establishment where you would have time for private study. Uh, quite so. This note contains a request from an old client of ours, Dr Phelps McCarthy of Willow Lee House Academy, West Hampstead, that I should at once send him a young man who should be qualified to teach Latin and English to a small class of boys under 14 years of age. His vacancy appears to be the very one which we're looking for. The terms are not munificent, Sixty pounds, board, lodging and washing. But the work is not onerous, and you would have the evenings to yourself. Oh, that would do, I cried, with all the eagerness of the man who sees work at last after weary months of seeking. I don't know that it is quite fair to these gentlemen whose names have been so long upon our list, said Mr. Lumsden, glancing down at his open ledger. But the coincidence is so striking that I feel we must really give you the refusal of it. "'Then I accept it, sir, and I am much obliged to you. "'There is one small provision in Dr. McCarthy's letter. "'He stipulates that the applicant must be a man with an imperturbably good temper. "'I am the very man,' said I, with conviction. "'Well,' said Mr. Lumsden, with some hesitation, "'I hope that your temper is really as good as you say, "'for I rather fancy that you may need it.' "'I presume that every elementary schoolmaster does. "'Yes, sir, but it is only fair to warn you "'that there may be some especially trying circumstances "'in this particular situation. "'Dr. Phelps McCarthy does not make such a condition "'without some very good and pressing reason.' "'There was a certain solemnity in his speech "'which struck a chill in the delight "'with which I had welcomed this providential vacancy. "'May I ask the nature of these circumstances?' I asked. "'We endeavour to hold the balance equally between our clients, "'and to be perfectly frank with all of them. "'If I knew of objections to you, "'I should certainly communicate them to Dr. McCarthy. "'And so I have no hesitation in doing as much for you. "'I find,' he continued, "'glancing over the pages of his ledger, "'that within the last twelve months "'we have supplied no fewer than seven Latin masters "'to Willow Lee House Academy, four of them having left so abruptly "'as to forfeit their month's salary, "'and none of them having stayed more than eight weeks.' "'And the uh, other masters, have they stayed? "'There is only one other residential master, "'and he appears to be unchanged. "'You can understand, Mr. Weld,' continued the agent, "'closing both the ledger and the interview, "'that such rapid changes are not desirable from a master's point of view, "'whatever may be said for them by an agent working on commission. "'I have no idea why these gentlemen have resigned their situation so early.' I can only give you the facts and advise you to see Dr. McCarthy at once and to form your own conclusions.'